Hi, my name is Mukraj. I'm a vice president with Accenture India and uh, a visiting faculty to Imarticus sometimes. Uh, this is a program in which uh, we have tied up with SAP together in order to bring the latest and the greatest from change management area. So first of all, we will see what are the various components of this change management program. Yeah, what is that today's industry demands from a change managers? And how a professional can step into change managers management as a career. Yep. So first of all, we will discuss what the industry expects. We will discuss what the market wants. We will discuss what are the potential opportunities which today's market is throwing up for different kinds of people like you who can go ahead to learn the skill sets of change management and how you can change your career altogether from either a software development lifecycle analyst or a developer or a tester or a design architect or any kind of domain consultant that you might be and when i say domains i mean some of you might be in manufacturing domain some of you might be in telecom some of you may be playing a vital role in pharmaceuticals either way all of these knowledge areas or careers which come from a specific domain yeah can be transversed towards a change manager so it is not essential whether you are in it even if you're a non-it person this career is very very exciting and it utilizes all the past experiences that you may have yep so i guess uh, we will discuss some of the best five reasons why today's professionals are more and more opting for change management as a career and how it is bringing them the right skills which today's market feels very relevant about All right, so as the name suggests, change. Change is basically a structured approach which any organization would like to take when it is undergoing a large transformation. Let me take a quick example. Some of the clients that you may see around undergo large technology changes. Yeah, some of the clients today are undergoing large business changes. And the reason is very clear. Since the business has become very dynamic, competition is immense. Hence, any organization has to evolve itself in order to survive and prosper. And for that, they undergo changes. It is a reality of life and it is happening all around us. That is the area where a change manager helps to make certain that the transition during that change for organization, its processes, its tools, its people is taken care of. Yep. So if we do not monitor or track the change it can cause a lot of discomfort within an organization that is where most of the organization today would like to have a skill called change manager while they are undergoing large transformations so guys uh, just in case you can ask me questions anytime in the question chat window i will check that after every 10 minutes yeah, just for about a few seconds break, I will read your questions and I'll answer them. All right, what is the positioning of business? Uh, I'm sorry. First of all, I must tell you the change management comprises of some components. Yeah, one of the components, which is like a knowledge area for change management is called business analysis. The second area is called agile or scrum. The third area is related to project management. Now, you may ask me, why are these areas important to learn in order to become a change manager? So what is a change manager? The change manager principally acts between the client and the development teams in order to make sure that whatever the clients wants to do as a business requirement is fulfilled in the transformation project. Yeah. Having said that, I think it becomes quite clear that the skill set which acts as a middleware between the client and our development teams typically is a business analyst. So shall I say that business analyst is the first step towards becoming a change manager? I may say yes, because in order to understand your business stakeholders, their business requirements, which you can possibly translate 
for the IT teams to develop that into maybe a functionality or a process change, I think you may need that skill. Because change management starts from the beginning of the project and goes till the end of the project, which means right from the beginning when business brings its requirements, we need to understand that, that what requirements needs, what kind of a business process change, what requirement needs, what kind of a tool change, what requirement needs, what kind of a technology change. So related to tools, processes, people and technology, we have somebody called a business analyst who's sitting at the door where he or she can talk to business and then turn its face around and translate the requirements to the development teams. Yeah. So that is first skill set, which I say is important to become a change manager. OK, now business analysts, what is their positioning in the industry? Business analysts perform different kind of roles at various levels. They could be directly reporting to the chief executive officer. They could be into a very client facing roles, obviously, because they have to understand the requirements from the client. They help the higher management in making key decisions. And the reason is because business analyst typically comes from a domain and being a specialist in those process areas, it can provide that kind of assistant to senior management. Business analysts can be part of strategy teams because they are in, inherently involved to create strategies for their clients. And again, the reason is the same. Since they understand the uh, technology landscape, business process landscape of the client, they understand their as is processes, they understand the tools, technologies being used as of today in the client's landscape. So eventually, their inputs are very key to frame a new design for the business process change or for a technology change, which will transform the client's landscape into something better. Yep. And business analysts are also part of the change management teams. Yep. So the reason that business analyst is sitting in all these five boxes is because of its inherent connect with the client. Right. So, so this being the first skill set to become a change manager. The second component of change management is called Agile and Scrum. I think a lot of you must have heard this because in today, when a requirement comes in and the development team starts to develop that change in the technology, which is could be in form of either a process change, it could be a functionality change, it could be uh, changing the entire technology platform. Most of the software development today happens in an Agile cycle. So, it's a it, it's a it's a breakaway from the traditional ways of developing the application in a waterfall mode. Yeah. Now, becoming an agile coach or a scrum master is also an important integral component of becoming a, eventually a change manager. If you say that getting the business requirement was phase one in a project, then the phase two is software development lifecycle. And in that, your role today may be a developer, maybe a tester, maybe a functional specs writer, maybe a technical developer who's doing unit testing and writing technical specs. But the fact is, to go one step beyond, you need to become an agile coach. Now, the agile coach is the phase two very important role because an agile coach understands what kind of changes have to be done within IT to fulfill the business requirements of the client. An agile coach ensures that these changes are done in a fast way, in a faster way than traditional programming or coding and testing. And hence, we are, we are able to expedite those changes very quickly. Yep. Now, so the, the purpose of becoming an agile coach is to understand the larger changes of the clients, to break them up into smaller components, and then helping the development team accomplish that within some very quick cycles of application development. Yeah. So agile chain management is a more contemporary approach that helps the organizations to fine tune a fast changing environment from the client side.
the second link between agile and change management is that the agile methodology ensures that the changes which are happening are right changes they are planned and they are meticulously executed in a very controlled way so that business likes the changes which eventually come into their either business process cycles or into their it landscape okay i think till now there is no question so let me go forward guys i am changing the slides uh i hope you guys are able to see that for example right now i am on slide number six hey uh kezia would you like to please show these slides while time i can talk is that okay yeah kezia i think uh, you can show the slides maybe you know and i can just give the audio support maybe i think uh maybe the students are not able to or you know audience is not able to see the slides till now so guys just hold on please uh we are just making an effort to make you sh make sure that you see the slides yeah so guys agile is a quicker way of implementing a software as you can see on the slide this is the this is going to be the likely role of anybody who's called an agile coach typically an integral component of change manager yep so here you it ju you just become somebody who can accelerate the development cycle of the client very well so typically it is very much appreciated by any it company see i mean i would like to clarify one thing that a typical change management role is obviously the opportunities are much more with the large it companies and that's a role which is really look forward to not many people today in the market are change managers change manager is a specific role and it is only uh, it's only experienced when you undergo a certain learning cycle a cycle which involves you to learn a business analysis it it enables you to learn the agile and the scrum cycles it enables you to run uh, to learn something on the project management as well and typically because this program that you know imarticus has launched is with sap which is you know the undoubtedly the the king maker of it so that's why you know this probably program has all the right things which probably a market today wants from a change manager yeah okay i think somebody amongst you is asking that i'm a typical banking back office operational persons with a large experience yeah so you would like to ex understand the fitment here better okay that's a good question guys and not only for this gentleman i think this is an answer which goes for all the people who are back end office organizers which means that somewhere in the front end yeah let, let's take an example of a banking or an insurance firm so somewhere in the front you know the transactions are concluded with the clients and then all those things are sent to the back office in india so that those transactions could be completed yeah certain times they send some changes which they want and here sitting in, out of the india shop we accomplish those changes now imagine if you are a change manager obviously you can attend to so many things from the front end which are coming towards you one they send certain changes you can talk to them you can discuss with them as a business analyst what those changes are what kind of impact they create on business how they can help to create a better and a more efficient system that's where your business analyst skills will come useful second those changes will have to be obviously developed somewhere in the technology shop of india remember we i'm talking all back end right so in the back end currently you are a, a back office operator which means you have fair amount of idea about what kind of processes come to conclude as a transaction in the back office number one second you are recipient of large amount of data so you also have a fair idea that what kind of a data is involved into those business processes and the third thing is that you typically conclude those transactions monitor it track it send a certain reports back to them and that's probably what your job is this fitment is possible because today you are sitting in a back office where you have information and, and and understanding about the processes you have information understanding about the data and the transactions which eventually conclude to give the organization their you know their best perspective but the fact is you are just missing on the role which you can have in case you are able to learn up to this value chain which means learning the skill set to become a business analyst can take you closer to become a change manager learning the skill set to how to operate as an agile coach for the entire development team guide them 
so that they can do the developments in a faster mode, delivered better and faster. And imagine all these things are done pretty much in the back office of India. So you might be still in back office, but of course your role will change because you would have bought a certain clear value to the organization. So I understand that more, a lot of you must be probably today, uh, you know, in operations. But honestly, that could turn fairly monotonous after a period of time. Now you want to shift into a new career, but you want to leverage on what you've been doing till now. That's where I would like to welcome you to change management, where this career or where you will learn the skill sets of business analysis and other components will be very, very useful, which will pluck you out of your current operational role. That is how guys all these value items help to you know carry forward your career into something better. OK, somebody amongst you is asking that I am a business analyst already working on agile methodology. What does it take to become a change manager? Fantastic. So at least you have done you know uh, the step one, which means you are a BA already. Now being a BA amongst all of you who probably might be BAs here sitting I would like to clarify that being a BA means that you have a firm control on the client you have a firm control on their business prospects you have a firm control on what is the need and why but probably that's only phase one the phase two where the functionality is actually developed where you can help the team to develop the right functionality closely mapped to the business requirement that is something which you can do now after learning how to be an agile coach Agile and Scrum are today the latest and the greatest in application development. In any case, guys, even if you are a BA, you need to now step more. You need to take a larger step towards the actual process where you can where you can actually step into you know the act development of the software or the functionality or the where the entire functionality is tested. You may not be doing that job yourself. There will be a development team, but the fact is that since you have heard from the business what is the closest to their heart from a business requirement being an agile coach you can help to implement that also as well imagine the brilliant output which will come out because you would have guided the requirements very carefully as a ba and now as an agile coach you have guided and monitored and tracked and made sure that the requirements are developed also in the most appropriate way in an it system yep so that's guys where you add tremendous value to your role as a BA and then you and, and when you are a BA already you are learning how to become an agile coach and subsequently the third component is project management. I think the three things coming together obviously take you very close to being a change manager. Yeah. So guys I'll take a little break from here. I'll go back into the slide mode please. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So what you see here guys is the role of an agile scrum. Now, if you look at an agile analyst role, it starts from managing the planning process, managing the entire schedule of the program, a program which in which we are doing requirement analysis, we are doing development, we are doing testing, we are doing deployment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. So, in the same way, if you see that an agile coach is a mentor, it's a guide, it's a leadership kind of a role where you provide to the people the right planning where you provide the right project reporting, where you do the right risk assessment and mitigations, right? And if you can understand what I'm saying, guys, these are the roles which are very, very much wanted by any IT companies today. So if you think that being in IT makes good sense, then I would prefer that you are in IT more as a change manager rather than just as a developer or a tester or a coder, etc. Yep. Casey, we can go to the next slide, please. All right, so what does this career entail? The career of a change manager is obviously promising, as I think you would have probably at least got a fair idea on that. It helps you to build new skills which are timeless. A programming can be automated. Testing is already tremendously automated. That's why you see that you know we don't really need manual testing anymore. Yeah, because we have automated that sufficiently well. The next stop where we're going to do a lot of automation is, is, is programming. So these are those skills which will slowly have started becoming more commodity skills. You need to step into something which is timeless, where automation and things can't really touch the skills that you have. And that's where you know the shop of change manager opens. It's a promising career because it helps you to gain leadership skills. Business analyst is a leader. 
agile coach is a leader right because it helps you to become a specialist no longer you are doing something which probably hundreds and thousands of people around you are doing already it helps you to step into something which is special and it helps you to continuously improve yourself and ask me how as a business analyst you get exposed to multiple different projects in different different domains so what happens is you start learning the business process setup the way stakeholders operate in different different businesses that helps to gather a tremendous amount of learning about people and processes that's important when you when you become an agile coach as well as a change manager you learn what is the faster bigger better and more optimum way of doing software development it's a large area trust me and if you are getting a chance to step into that room where you can see all kind of different developments and testings and various iterative cycles going on in a very very, very agile way i think that's a that's a value chain which is going to last at least for next one or two decades yep so in case guys the if you see the last uh, last vertical row here uh, horizontal row here it says if you're doing the same thing every day if you're doing something which is likely going to be redundant and replaceable very soon if you think that you do something which doesn't really make very a large impact in your organization on your daily weekly and monthly cycle yeah if you think that you're rather working absolutely in isolation i would like you to please consider you know a career of change management for which you don't have to be something really somebody very different you know this career leverages on your current learning whatever they they are whichever role they have been and helps you to spruce up and step into the next step of the ladder yeah Kezia, we can change the slide please okay so guys uh, i would like to show you one of the most important slides of today's discussion and i think we would like to spend about a few minutes on here yeah so look at this this is what i wanted to show you today was change management value chain okay if you see guys this is like a v model a v model here the client is sitting somewhere here and that's where you are sitting as well as a business analyst you bring in the right requirements which goes into a development team which do either a business process design write a functional specification tech specs are written coding is done and subsequently the testing starts yeah so there are three very important two very important roles here one the business analyst which controls the opening door of this shop yeah and then there is an agile coach or a scrum master which is controlling almost the rest of the cycle yeah because an agile coach is somebody who guides the development team right from business process design till the end of testing yeah so as an agile coach you are champion of all these steps as a business analyst you are champion of the first and the most important steps called gathering requirements from business the two things put together make you very strong you know and in control for any kind of a software development life cycle the one which you are seeing here yeah and this is where you know on a very categorical and detailed note i would like to say that this career is something which is encompassing the entire value chain of an it development right so obviously people who are currently based out of you know a typical it shop who are part of a software development life cycle or who belong to any such domain for example like a, a back-end operations analyst who's sitting in maybe in a bank yeah or probably uh somebody who's in let's say in the sales area of telecom somebody who does pharmaceutical selling yep all of those are eventually coming from a domain with a process knowledge and process centricity the same thing is used first to quickly convert you into a business analyst with which you enter the it cycle and then with the other skill set that you have of an agile coach you almost start gaining prominence into the entire it setup that is where it breaks the whole thing and brings you into a absolutely newly shaped careers Yes, here we can go to the next slide. All right, so what does my good friend as a change manager do? So change management guys, uh, the, the change management analysts basically tend to specialize in the same kind of work in which they are already working in. 
for example the it guys amongst you are likely to be hired by it firms yep the banking guy amongst you are likely to be hired by it firms which have banking and insurance clients so why it is a large umbrella shop because it has all the clients from various domains into itself any typically big it company today has pharmaceutical clients telecom clients manufacturing clients banking clients investment banking clients and so on and on that is where your twin knowledge comes in very useful one your business knowledge so today if you are a telecom sales guy you have fair amount of idea on all the processes within telecom domain and that's exactly what is the basic building block of a business analyst all of you who are sitting in it cycle itself are actually more closer to become change managers so everybody has its own advantages on which it can be uh, he or she can leverage to learn the next steps and get into change management so you can be an agile coach scrum master development manager product owner program manager project lead business analyst whatever you know you might like to become you might like to want to become based on your current work experience right so this is a large shop which opens up multiple windows of opportunities for you yeah okay at this moment i would probably just go back into questions again okay so uh, trina i believe that you posted here so maybe let me take some names it's very it's good that you guys get a direct answer so guys trina is from manufacturing organization who is involved into business transformation operations so for all such people who are already involved into business transformation are at the stepping stones of becoming change managers but of course you need to know the specific skill sets and methodologies like business analysis agile development operations methodologies etc etc because before you can become like confident enough to exercise those learnings into the new area as well so that way obviously trina this makes a lot of sense for you to gain that and this kind of a knowledge area and why don't you become a formal change manager yeah so that's the idea okay nitin has a question he says you said change manager bridges the gap between client and development teams i understand that a product manager who has domain knowledge is nothing but a change management in product development company and change manager is a term that we use for services which industries yes that's absolutely bullseye nitin thank you very much for you know articulating it this way so a product manager is somebody who yes has a domain knowledge and somebody who has a technology perspective as well somebody who can guide and lead the people somebody who can front end with the client and that's all what we drop into a common kitty called change manager yep okay swapnil has a question he says how can change management be applicable in supply chain processes okay so swapnil a very very good questions because i think this answer will help a lot of people sitting here so guys all of you who are into supply chain which means procurement purchasing sales customer service etc etc all of you are coming from a very very strong domain called supply chain management and to be honest supply chain management information knowledge process centricity is very very uh, you know important for any kind of an it setup because they have tremendous amount of clients who are fmcg clients consumer durables clients etc but who need people who have worked in business for example you you might be a purchasing officer you might be a sales leader you might be a customer service uh, you know uh, representative you have a certain understanding of that domain which the, a typical change management career what they do is that it typically brings in a little more of business and it perspective and builds on top of your knowledge what happens is that combined package helps you to go into the career of a change manager so being a supply chain manager is of immense value because that's very closely related to a very strong stepping stone as a business analyst so once you are a business analyst because when you do the change management course you learn business analysis you learn agile and scrum you learn project management so multiple of things which eventually shape up your career and why it will choose you and no one else because you are from supply chain tomorrow when you will be deployed to the clients 
likely a lot of clients are going to be on supply chain management they would need somebody like swapnil who can talk to them in supply chain language who has been from the same domain who has been experiencing the same processes who knows the dynamics of supply chain management or mismanagement that's where swapnil people like you who gain these additional skills typically end to you know tend to become very successful change managers okay Shami, Shami Nula writes to me saying that uh, I've been working as an incident manager for about three years. Will this help me or I need to start to scratch from becoming a change manager? No, Shami, you don't have to start from scratch. You're already part of an ITIL cycle called you know, incident management. So typically in IT setup, when you support a client, you can be an incident manager, you can be a change manager, you can be a deployment manager, right? Or you can be a business analyst. Typically, it is not a start from scratch because you already are part of the support application maintenance landscape. This means you are fairly into the IT part anyways. First of all, this career will you know, teach you how to quickly become, uh, you know, get to the next step, which is an agile coach. From there, the learnings of this course will take you towards business and lock you with the business as a business analyst. So your starting stones here are your credentials of incident manager, and then quickly you gain the rest to on top of it. That is what makes you comprehensively someone who has a full I-180 degrees view of the entire change management cycle. Yeah, so it's not a start from scratch. So Vijay, I think I answered that business analyst plays a significantly important role between client and the and the and the management of stakeholders, etc. So needless to say, that's a very significant important skills. Okay, what else? What else? Um, okay, so Nitin is asking a question that being a technical writer, you know, uh, change management as a career seems interesting to you. All right. And uh, no, Nitin, as I explained, you don't start from grind zero. What do you think you've been doing in 14 years? Of course, as being a technical writer, you have a full span of understandings about the content development documentation development which eventually has also taught you to attend to the receivers of those content and those documentations understanding their profiles is nothing short of actually some kind of a stakeholder management but the fact is till now you're sitting in content management shoes now you're going to be start you know start to learn to wear the shoes of a agile coach in order to care for the software development Plus, you will learn to wear the shoes of a business analyst to care for the client directly. And then what you've been doing in the last decade, it comes in very useful because that has anyway given you exposure to a similar skill sets. Okay, let's go back to guys the slide now. Okay, Casey, if you can change the slide, please. All right, guys, let's spend a few minutes on what are the top five reasons you should choose change management as a career. Yep. Kezia, we can uh, change the slide. First and foremost, variety. The amazing amount of change in organization which is happening today means, guys, that there's a very, very wide window of opportunity to get involved into the change management area. As a change manager, you can support large scale IT transformation projects, right? And you can participate in building up the global template of design because you are the one who's taking the requirements from the client. You are the one who will be responsible eventually to make sure that the development team is able to freeze the global templates. And then subsequently, the implementation happens. Subsequently, you are going to be the one who's again going to lead the same designs into more customizations with different stakeholders in the same organization. So caring for a large transformation project, rolling it out into different subsidiaries is a lot of work which a change managers normally do very effectively. So guys, obviously, as I said earlier, change management is a, is a unique skill and it is always sought in the market, right? One reason to become change manager. Kezia, can you change please? All right, delivery. A change manager is able to work as I said, also in the operations, right? So as a business analyst, don't forget you're working in strategy. You're working in supporting the business to take better decisions. Yep. Now, 
change manager is somebody who as i explained on the earlier slide which was like a v model he or she is end to end you are involved in handling clients and stakeholders you are handling in solicitations of requirement you're handling you're involved in handing those requirements to development teams you're involved as an agile coach to make sure that those requirements are developed well they are tested well and they are something which the business really needs so eventually when you care for the project end to end that is something what i called change manager involved in shaping the value chain top to bottom yeah okay so that's about delivering the project okay the next continuous development i told you that this is not a commodity skill guys this is a skill which typically is a creative skill there is a art here there's a science here since you have a combination of both you are not replaceable by any technology advancement which eventually goes into automations we can't automate the role of a business analyst we can't automate the role of an agile coach at least certainly not in 10 years that is where there's a continuous learning because you're exposed to either a different technology because projects bring different technology you are exposed to different changes regulatory non-regulatory you learn a wide area of of informations yep there is hard skill in this because there's a science in this because in this role you need to know certain methodologies there's a soft skill in this because you need to be a great communicator you need to handle people as a agile coach as a business analyst yep so there's a hard skill there's a soft skills all put together what you learn here makes you a good professional indeed here's your next well i don't have to explain this guys as a business analyst you are a leader as a agile coach you are a leader so you need to demonstrate those leadership capabilities well when you enter a typical learning uh, you know course of a change manager you learn all this there you learn how to demonstrate leadership capabilities you learn how various businesses react in different ways so when you are the only guy sitting in front of them as a business analyst how do you need to handle them how do you need to handle their business and technology aspirations of the client yeah so this this course teaches you multiple things which you know something which you use in your everyday life as a change manager here's your next okay so today as a change manager you might be sitting with a telecom client tomorrow you might be sitting with a pharmaceutical client day after you might be sitting with the financial client yeah all these exposures will give you unusual clarity on how the three different businesses operate and how multiple functions within each business are linked to each other so imagine maybe five years from now when you are an experienced change manager you already know how a telecom client operates what are the nuances or weaknesses of a pharmaceutical client how the business process needs to be changed very quickly for a chemical client for a mining client for example so you have that in-depth knowledge you know which is very useful for for any business hence the, the, the skill is obviously very niche here's your next there's a growing demand guys i will not go into too much of statistics because i'm more interested to answer your questions so i'll probably just go through certain slides where you see that how so many you know uh, so many financial institutions so many of it companies so many of product companies are all basically looking forward to have certified change managers yep from you know from wherever you graduate from so typically marticus offers a, a certification course uh, you know under the blessings of sap so that's where you know probably i think this becomes a little attractive proposition but in any case we are just discussing how a change manager you know gains value for itself okay so kozia let's go to the next one okay career path guys product analyst going up to senior product analyst going to senior product uh, sorry project analyst leading to project manager leading to agile coach leading to etc etc just some indicative salaries here but i guess uh, maybe i think that's some information which you probably already have but yes depending on your years of experience till now plus the certification which you will do as a change manager the two things together will decide what is going to be your next compensation in the market yeah here's your next <coughs> sorry so guys 
some of you i believe today are quite experienced people yeah so i'm not typically talking about people who are 12 15 years experience because obviously you know the indicative salaries for them are very different because they have a very large experience but typically let's say if today you have been working for three four years and you know after through this change management uh, pipeline you you end up becoming a business analyst or a project analyst or subsequently a change management analyst or an agile coach the various skills depending on your experiences till now and when i say experiences i don't say experience as a change manager i mean experiences as what you are doing today like somebody of you said hey i'm a back-end operator in a banking sector somebody of you said hey i'm a content writer somebody said hey i'm part of it so depending on those ex those kind of experiences from any domain yep you gain value in terms of role you gain value in terms of career you gain value in terms of compensation yep is your next okay so guys maybe uh, i would like to step you into some of the slides which uh, which are typically that what kind of change management pro degree is being offered by Immarticus. So one thing is that it's having SAP as its educational technology partner. Yeah. So jointly with SAP, Immarticus has designed something called Change Management Pro Degree. So this Pro Degree gives you comprehensive coverage. Uh, it's a four months course actually. It's a weekend course. It helps you in terms of learning about business analysis, agile, scrum, project management, SAP, and helps you to go through a cycle of getting ready for such job readiness. It's an experiential learning curve, which means that they, I mean, the course content as such has tremendous amounts of case studies, et cetera, which are very, very simulated as well, so that they give you a very in-depth knowledge about your role, which is tomorrow's role as an agile coach or as a business analyst, eventually as a change manager. Of course, the change management pro degree is certified. So you get a firm certification here from SAP. And that's something you know which also gives you an opportunity to step into additional external certifications if required okay Kezia, let's go next so guys uh, the large chunk of this course is about business analysis about 40 percent another 30 percent is about agile scrum 15 to 18 16 percent is about project management you learn sap but when I say SAP, I'm not talking about the SAP as a software or SAP in terms of programming. You learn the complete ERP of SAP in terms of business processes. You learn that in terms of entire perspective from a procurement cycle, from a sales cycle, from a finance cycle, from a business intelligence cycle, etc. So mind you, this gives you a tremendous advantage of getting into IT because today 80% of the IT clients are largely on SAP. So provided that this course enables you with a firm viewpoint a 360 degree views about how SAP as an ERP operates. That's number one. And second, of course, that how do you become a business analyst followed by agile scrum and project management? Yeah. All right. Let's go next. So guys, this is a typical curriculum which is offered as a business analyst. These are multiple different things. And of course, this course are aligned with IIBA because Amarticus is an accredited partner with IIBA as well. Yeah, so this is the detail of business analysis. Go next. And these are the detailed course curriculum which you get uh, to learn while, you know, in the agile and scrum thing about transformation approach, agile metrics, agile contracting, agile overview, agile change management strategies, etc. Please go next. This is the slide which details, tells you about the entire curriculum which you're going to learn as a project management professional as well because this is the third component of change management yeah so all about project time management cost management etc and also we as i said that you get introduced in detail to the erp of sap you learn about their erp you learn about their business process overviews you learn about their various contemporary transformation techniques you learn about business process monitorings yep that's the four components from sap and uh, and then of course you know Immarticus trains you into job readiness in terms of your interview preparations in terms of your domain upskilling in terms of your uh, cd upskillings etc etc yep so guys the training is here is that there's a uh, conceptual learning which means that out of 160 hours 
you get 40 hours of pure videos and mind you a lot of these videos are developed by sap itself so you get a, videos from sap you get videos from Emarticus. put together they give you a very comprehensive viewpoint about all the high-end processes from a business analysis perspective agile coach perspective project management perspective and sap and then you enter into detailed sessions which uh, are either classroom sessions or online sessions where you learn from the you know from um, from a senior faculty about the entire curriculum that we just saw in the previous slides yeah so there are guest lectures there are discussions on real time case studies you are given projects to implement and then there's an expert faculty which traces you tracks you monitors you and trains you how to do those projects as a business analyst how to do those projects as an agile coach and how to do those projects as a project manager as well so that beyond conceptual learning your practical learning also is very very high something which is a tremendous advantage when you're getting ready for the change management career all right so there's a long list of projects as well which you do uh, you know while the course is on but i think i would like to get into the questions now yeah Oh, minute, sorry, questions. Yeah. Okay, so let me get into your question now. Okay, so I think uh, Purva is asking how change management can help in healthcare industry. So Purva, typically you learn three different roles. So when you say healthcare industry, I believe that you are involved in healthcare industry as in a certain position in a certain role. The point here is that what does the next future steps entail? The next future steps entail that if you have been in the domain of healthcare today, probably it's better to put that domain knowledge into something which is more front ending role. And that is where the role of a change manager comes in because in within that you can assume the role of a business analyst you can assume the role of a agile coach or a project manager etc that is where you know any domain knowledge is very very welcome here yeah and i mentioned telecom healthcare manufacturing finance everything is is something which gets fitted into this role very well okay one brilliant question has come from sasidhar that as a role of a pro, uh, as a role of a change manager yeah how much of a technology part is to be understood okay so thanks for asking that shashi it's a very important question because it helps me to resolve a query which is probably in the minds of many people so guys one thing you don't have to know a lot of in-depth knowledge about technology but yes an overview about technology could be very very handy because as a agile coach yes you definitely come very close to technology as such but typically as a prominent role of a business analyst within chain management you typically are more focused on business you're more focused on domain you're more focused on business process so what happens is that while this uh, change management course is on during those four months you know Emarticus helps you to gain better understanding of various technology platforms whether they are cloud-based they are on-premise they relate to business intelligence they relate to data sciences they relate to uh, uh, they relate to ERPs they relate to uh, you know uh, uh, analytics etc so all those components are given you know described detailed out at an overview level and i think that is sufficient for a change manager eventually the second question shashi is that uh, keeping in mind that you know today it's a day and age of artificial intelligence and robotics etc so how does that requirement help so eventually shashi i would say that that is something which is a little more next steps yeah because when you are working as a change manager of course you may end up taking care of the clients which are undergoing large transformation because of ai or tremendous amount of automations but the fact is at the ground level when you roll up your sleeves what is your role which will help the client the role is again that of a change manager either because you're helping them in terms of business requirements because robotics or ai is the answer but first, as a business analyst, you gather the right question from the business that, guys, what do you want to change and why? And if the solution to that is AI, that's fine. You can bring the AI solution to them for, for, for which there's a big 
senior development team waiting to help you so your role will be more to front end the client of course the development team is there to back you up to give you the right inputs in terms of ai automation robotics anything yeah so let's say some part of the client's business process are very repetitive you say hey we need to automate that right so for example rpa robotic process automation is the answer so there is going to be a capability team in development you know which is going to help you with you know those kind of solution sets so you, you don't have to probably get into rpa by yourself but yes you should be capable enough to tell describe and detail the client that why rpa is the solution to your business problems that is where all these overviews come in very handy okay so uh, medha uh, and i think somebody else has asked this question so guys change management is a course which has been just launched by marticus in joint conjunction with sap yeah but i must tell you prior to this marticus has been running various courses on business analysis and for and i think they ran it almost for about two and a half years right and that was in joint conjunction with iiba a certified course and today the same course has migrated into the change management course so this course is you know pretty much certified it's with the partners like iib and sap this is the launch of this thing and why did this happen because for two and a half three years while they ran the business analysis course quite successfully with very good placements as well i must tell you that the changing market conditions forced them to think that should we give a bigger better and a larger value to our audience yep and that is where the the tie up with sap happened and that's where where we open they opened larger windows that maybe just a business analyst may not be enough you need to take the next step as a agile coach you need to take the next step as a project manager you need to take the next step to learn all about maybe sap as an erp because that's the most prominent erp does this give that better value just as compared to a business analyst yes of course that is where you know all the three four different things came together to form this course called sap chain management yeah okay so abu is asking how scrum and agile is different from six sigma tools so abu six sigma tools are more purely from a quality aspects right i mean you want to do six sigma because you want to do 99.999% you know close to your quality perspectives whereas agile is not just a quality tool it is actually a tool and a methodology or a process or a way of doing entire application or software development and you know that in software development you know there are specifications written based on the specification there is coding done based on the coding there is testing done which is a very large cycle of long testings in terms of unit testing system testings business process testings integration testings regression testings and so on and on so agile takes care of all these components at a ground level so whereas six sigma is more purely qualitative i would say agile scrum is very very quantitative and qualitative both yeah so alan once when you are through this course you know it's logical that today maybe alan may not know these skills but tomorrow post this course you are able to at least gain a firm tactical advantage of knowing how to be a business analyst so maybe being a fresher you may not immediately become a change manager because change management needs a certain experiential curve but yes you can start off as a business analyst with any it firm and then you know the window after window keeps on opening because being a business analyst you are more on the requirement with business slowly you start stepping into the software development cycle as well slowly you get to understand more and more roles and you gain them because you already have a background which you're going to be learning as a agile coach so typically it does open opportunity window for people like you in an it firms to begin with okay so mayank uh, okay mayank is not there so sejal i think we described the course content comprises of business analysis application development as a agile coach project management and sap for all the people who are there for a bp or a kpo perspective you remember the example which i took of i think swapnil who is a back end finance or a, sorry a banking back end operations person the same logic applies to all of you
who is going to you know set up uh, who wants to get into a change management career so i think vijay for example for you your current role of operations in a non it again it's not from a scratch okay because being in a non it operations those operations relate to certain business process setup that becomes your domain expertise so it's not a start from scratch because as a business analyst half things what you need is a domain expertise and the rest half is how to you know learn the the process the area and the methodology of becoming a business analyst that is something which you will learn from here and that's where you don't start from scratch yes of course trina this is pretty much applicable for commerce accountants anybody who has a fundamental domain knowledge for doing a uh, operations in finance insurance anything so that way you know it it just gets aligned 